Well, it seems like we just got done spraying fungicide in our wheat early, yep. and yep. it's too early to spray for head scab now, yep. but you want to spray fungicide again? <laughs> okay, our topic today is spraying fungicide at the flag leaf stage in wheat, and here's the reason why this is so important. We just talked a week ago about that flag leaf in wheat being very crucial to the overall yield in your wheat. If that flag leaf is damaged due to wind or disease or insects, you've got a major issue. Well, what we're seeing across the country is if a farmer didn't spray his fungicide early, spraying at the flag leaf timing is absolutely critical. But even if you did spray early, it's something to at least consider spraying at flag leaf timing, and we wanted to talk about that today. Well, there are several considerations when this is the second time that you're spraying fungicide in your field. First of all, what mode of action did you use the first time? For example, you used Headline, which is a strobal urine. Now you're coming back again in crop, I would suggest using a different mode of action. Rather than using a strobal urine again, I'd suggest going to something like a triazole, which would be a product like Bumper or Tilt, or maybe a combination product like Stratego or Quilt that would have some triazole in that product. You know, you need to have something different out there, or pretty soon the strobal urine family is not going to work for you anymore. Well, with these strobal urines, we are concerned about the disease resistance building up across the country. But like Darren said, when you've got good triazoles out there, it's nice to be able to rotate that mode of action. In terms of the combination products we would talk about most often at flag leaf timing, twin line is a combination of headline and a triazole. You've got Stratego, and then you've got Quilt or the new Quilt XL and the Quilt XL has a little more quadris in compared to the tilt that's in there. So you've got a number of choices for these combination products. Let's talk about why the triazole, in addition to the disease resistance, what other benefits does the triazole bring? Well, I think this is a big deal, especially as you get later into the year, to use this triazole family. The reason why, in addition to being a preventative fungicide, it also has a small amount of curative abilities. Well, let's face it, this late in the year, there's probably a little disease already starting in your field. You may not even be able to see it yet, but your plants, for lack of a better term, let's say, have a little bit of a cold. It's not really showing up yet, but it's out there. So when you're putting this triazole out there, it can take care of a disease that's already just getting started and give you a window of protection for say a week to two weeks after you spray as well. One of the nice things too with these triazoles, we've got a wide range in terms of pricing. So for example, if you wanted to go out with the least expensive one, you could use tilt or bumper or any of the generic tilts and get by at the full rate even for five bucks an acre, half rate, two and a half bucks an acre if you only had just a tiny little disease issue in your area. Or you could switch up to, let's say, the twin line combination of the triazole and the strobe, and then you're probably talking in the 10 to $15 an acre range for the full rate. But if wheat is, say, five bucks, and you can gain five bushels, well, that's a real good return on investment. And in fact, in a lot of studies done across the country, they're finding that the timing for fungicide, where they gain the very most yield, is right around that flag leaf timing. Because again, the flag leaf is the most important leaf on the wheat plant. Well, I think that big yield gain at flag leaf timing is due to a couple of things. One, you're late in the season, you've got a lot of foliage out there. You probably do have some leaf disease, especially since your wheat is completely shading the ground now. So that ground is gonna stay moist for quite a while if you get any rain. But the other thing is, what diseases are coming now? You know, like this year, for example, we were fighting some tan spot real early in our wheat, but then stripe rust blew up from the south later on in the season. And stripe rust is a tougher disease for us to control than what tan spot is. So you need something just a little bit better. In fact, a lot of guys are going to a combination triazole product like Prosaro that normally we would save until head scab timing, but it's really good on that rust species of diseases. So a lot of guys were using Prosaro at flag leaf timing this year, and you may consider it as well because Prosaro does really well on tough diseases like rust. However, we're usually saving the Prosaro, the Caramba, and the Folicure for that later spray, the head scab timing, and we will talk about head scab on another show. But for today, we just wanted to focus on this flag leaf timing of fungicide and make sure you understand especially if you didn't get an earlier spray of fungicide on, this would be the time to do it in your crop. Well, one other thing to say is you're only gonna protect the leaf tissue that you cover. So putting a flag leaf application on is not going to protect your head later on in the year. It's gonna protect that flag leaf. So you have to wait till the flag leaf has emerged and then coat it with fungicide. 
So get good coverage out there, especially on that top flag leaf. So you may have to change up your tips compared to what you were doing earlier in the year. Many guys are using twin fans where they're gonna spray forward and back with the same nozzle. Half the spray sprays forward at a 45 degree angle, half the spray sprays back. That way you coat up and down on that flag leaf and do a really good job at the top of the plant. Well, you can do that, but honestly, from all the studies I've ever seen, you're not gaining a thing by doing that. You might with the head, uh, so having the twin fan with the head out and spraying for head scab, fine. But for flag leaf timing, I think I'd just use a regular flat fan nozzle. Well, I think you're hedging your bets with the twin <laughs> fan. We can disagree on that. But, but the important thing is you do need to protect that flag leaf. It's very important for your yield and performance of your weed. Yep, controlling disease is very important, but so is controlling weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 